end stops have been a staple of 3D printers pretty much since the beginning, and unfortunately so have skip steps. Although they seem completely unrelated, Prusa Research have implemented a new feature on the i3 Mark III that removes the need for end stops and the chance of a skipped step. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at one of the special features of the Prusa i3 Mark III. Well, actually we're taking a look at two features because they're both derived from pretty much the same underlying technology. That is skip step detection and sensorless XY homing. As you may already know, the new control board design for the Mark III is the INZ, and on the INZ you'll find TMC2130 stepper drivers by Trinamic. If we take a look at the special features of that TMC2130, we'll see the following. A micro step table, micro plier, cool step, passive braking, spread cycle, stealth chop and stool guard. The last one, stool guard, is what we're going to be taking a look at today. And it's all about measuring the back EMF of a stepper motor in order to find the load angle. So how does it all work? A typical electric DC motor is what we call self-commutating. That's to say there's a basic mechanical system within the motor that adjusts the magnetic field as it rotates to ensure that the rotation continues. So all you have to do to operate it is apply a DC voltage and it spins. However, a stepper motor is a bit more complicated than that. Instead of continuous motion, we want discrete steps. We want to be able to control exactly where it's pointing. So to do that, we need a stepper driver to control that magnetic field. That stepper driver receives a signal from the control board to do something with the stepper motor. In order to do that thing, it uses an electric field within the windings of the stepper motor. When it creates that magnetic field, the rotor of the motor tries to stay aligned to the magnetic field. There's not a little man inside driving, it's just physics. In other words, you have a field and the rotor is in it. As the field changes, the rotor moves with it. Simple, right? When there's no load on the motor, there's nothing really stopping it from being aligned. However, as you apply a load to the rotor, you prevent that alignment from being perfectly aligned. The difference in phase between the motor mechanics and the control field is known as the load angle. The more resistance you apply to the motion of the stepper motor, the greater the load angle becomes. When you remove that resistance, it returns to zero. The load angle is important because this is what results in a skipped step. If the load angle goes past 90 degrees, you get a skipped step and your control system loses positional data of the stepper motor. The information about the load angle can be fed to the control board where the firmware will then be able to perform an action based on the load angle. So how does this all apply to the Mark III? Well, let's first take a look at skipped step detection. Let's say your printer is printing and it's moving quite fast and it does some fast accelerations and in a standard scenario it would skip a step. On the Mark III, as that's happening, it will notice the increased load angle because of the increased force that's required in order to provide that acceleration. And so, because it sees that high load angle, that's get fed back to the firmware, which stops the motion, homes the X, homes the Y, and then carries on the print. Secondly, the sensorless XY homing. On your X or Y axis, you typically have an end stop, normally made up of a micro switch. As your carriage moves to the end of the axis, it hits the end stop and that's your reference point. However, when you're using stool guard, there is no end stop. You move to the end and it hits what's called the hard stop, a full material on material contact. And as a result, the load angle increases and because it's knowing the load angle, that's when it knows that it's hit that reference point. So now you know how it works, how do you test it? Well, you just push the carriage and it'll work, right? It'll skip the steps and it'll detect it. Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. As far as I understand about the Trinamic stool guard technology, it only senses a skipped step if the unwanted force is in the opposing direction. To explain this, let's consider the Mark III's carriage. As it's moving to the left, you need a force to the right. If you apply a force to the right, as it's moving to the right, it may skip a step, but it won't be detected because it's not resisting the motion, it's adding to the motion. So the best way to test it is in fact not to try and push the carriage, but let it push you. Looking again at the X carriage, if you know where the motion is moving between, about here and about here, you would just, as it moves away, put your fingers here and let it hit your fingers. Don't do this on a printer that doesn't have stool guard, because it will just push your fingers out the way. So in the real world, how well does this actually all work when you're trying to print something? 
from my experience it works very well you can have it skip steps multiple times within a print and it obviously doesn't skip the step it does the recovery and carries on as if nothing ever happened which is pretty fantastic so in a real life print does it work very well well yes if you're trying to prevent skip steps as a result of resonance or something like that then it's absolutely brilliant however if we're talking about crash detection then i'm not sure the implementation is quite right because if your printer is crashing in the middle of the print as in it's hitting something either on the rail or a separate object's fallen on it or it's just curled up so much that it can't move past a specific point then you don't really want it to keep trying and trying and trying and trying i think when it's a crash you'd want it to happen once twice and if it can't succeed after that then you want it to give up because it might start to damage something on the other hand sensorless xy homing seems to be pretty much perfect i mean it's as if there are end stops and there aren't any obviously there's currently still the z pinder probe and while the stool guard technology can be implemented probably on a z axis you would have to make sure the bed is exceptionally rigid because you need that hard stop if it flexes upon contact then that's not going to be any good that has been the original Prusa i3 Mark III stool guard and skip step detection feature. If you want to see more videos about the special features of the Mark III, let me know what you want to see in the comments section below. For suggestions on other videos of the other features that I've already done, check those in the suggestions in the description maybe. They'll be there somewhere. Hopefully that information has been useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.